Oh, man, Bob. That was the happiest ending ever. I'm glad you liked it, Larry. He even got to jump on the bouncy thingy. Yep, it all worked out. Let's watch it again. I, I don't think we have time for that, Larry. Oh, we're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we learned today. So we can we just watch the ending again? Uh, no, Larry. I see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. What about the bonus features? Uh, Larry, we need to finish the show. Sorry. Can I watch it with the sound down? No! Uh, Darby took his dad's money and ran away from home because he thought it would make him happier. But being away didn't make him happier. And after what he did, he was afraid to come back. Afraid his dad wouldn't love him anymore. But what's that have to do with us? Well, you see, the story of the prodigal son is about how much God loves everyone. Jesus told that story to teach us something about God. You're losing me, Bob. Well, let's see if Cordy has a verse for us. <laughs> How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. 1 John 3, 1. Darby's dad in the story is like God, and Darby, he's just like Felix, and everyone else for that matter. What Jesus was telling us in his little story about a father and a son is that God's love has no limits. It goes on forever. No matter what you've done, no matter how far you've run away, you can always come back to God. And when he sees you coming, he'll pick you up and he'll just keep hugging you. So, what about my dad and the aardvark? Well, Larry, your dad loves God and he loves you. I bet he'll show you the same kind of love. Oh, good. Because the other day I was playing with his chameleon. Maybe you need to be a little more careful. Uh Oops. <laughs> well, Felix, you can always go back to God. He can't wait to see you. And remember, kids, God made you special. And he loves you very, very much, no matter what. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.